Hi, I am Captain of the Quadrix team. I have been managing the hardware development and programming the rescue area using EV3. I am Shorya. I have showcased strong skills in programming the rescue line. I have also managed the team's documentation. Additionally, I have led the creation and coordination of media content. I am Vedam Dilbari. I am responsible for the programming of Arduino microcontrollers and the OpenMB camera. I have also played a crucial role in managing the logistical tasks of our team. We are participating in the Rescue Line Secondary Category, where a robot must follow a black line, navigate obstacles like ramps, speed bumps, seesaws, and more. In the evacuation zone, it will sort alive and dead victims into their respective safe zones and exit. We have utilized three microcontrollers, EV3, Arduino, and OpenMV camera, and successfully completed the robot design and programming for both the rescue line and evacuation zone. Our robot uses two color sensors in both RLI and RGB modes for smooth line tracking and accurate green square detection. It also features a mind sensor's gyro sensor to detect ramps during line fall. The front arm has a 3D printed grab with EV3 components powered by two medium modes, enabling the robot to pick up and place victims in safe zones. The motors control the arm movements. The robot uses two Arduino ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles and locate victims, along with an analog IR sensor to identify the silver line and recognize the evacuation zone entrance. The program starts by storing Y and Z axis values of the EV3 mind sensor gyro sensor. If the gyro sensor detects a value outside the specified range, it activates the high correction line folder until the robot is no longer on the ramp, or else place the double black switch case. It then checks for intersections. If both EV3 color sensors sense black, it activates the green algorithm. Otherwise, place the line follower until the ultrasonic or silver condition is met. Finally, it checks if the IR value is satisfied. If true, it activates the rescue algorithm or else plays the ultrasonic program. We run the program for gyro parallel to improve the delay in communication between the sensor and the EV3. We have developed an algorithm that adjusts the robot's turning based on the variable called error, enabling it to make sharp turns and reacquire the line if it loses track of it. We have used various microcontrollers like Arduino Nano, Lego EV3 and the OpenMV camera. Also, we have used two types of communication protocols, which are the I2C communication and UR. The OpenMV camera is a compact system. The camera is programmable using Python. We use an OpenMV camera to detect the victims and the evacuation zones in the rescue area. Arduino is an open source electronics platform. We have used an Arduino Nano board to have more space in the robot. We have used various sensors like the IR sensor, ultrasonic sensor, etc. These sensors help us boost the robot's efficiency in performing the given task. By using the I2C communication between the EV3 and Arduino controllers, we are able to exchange data between the Arduino sensors and the LEGO EV3. UART, also known as Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, is a serial communication protocol that can be used to send data between an Arduino board and other devices. This is the protocol used when we send data from an Arduino to a computer using the classic serial print method. The Arduino and OpenMV camera are open source microcontrollers. Our robot is equipped with tracks instead of wheels to enhance grip. For improved intersection detection, we rely on RGB values rather than color sensor values. Additionally, we use two batteries to power three microcontrollers, the EV3, Arduino, and OpenMV camera. One of the challenges we encountered was achieving seamless communication between the EV3 and the Arduino for the front ultrasonic sensor. The delay in transmitting data caused the obstacle detection system to respond slowly. Triggering the obstacle avoidance program only after the bot had already approached the obstacle. 
This lag in response time significantly affected the boat's ability to navigate safely and efficiently, making it difficult to avoid collisions with the obstacle. Another challenge we faced was ensuring the boats aligned correctly with the rescue victim. Instead of moving in a straight line, the boat approached in a curved trajectory, causing it to deviate from its intended path. This unpredictable change in direction made it difficult to maintain a precise alignment, complicating the process of accurately reaching the rescue victim.